Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just did this fun kind of sunset inspired eye here. I haven't been wearing my ring the entire time. Let me plop that on here. Uh, the sunset kind of eye here, I used the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and then actually an Itzy shadow from the Coffee, uh, Coffee Break with Danny collaboration. I used her Wiser. So I put that all over the lid and then just dabbed the pool party shadow from Jaclyn Hill over top of that. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of the look. I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know how you are celebrating the end of summer that's coming up here. I will talk to you. Why, hello you guys. I am just priming my eye. I'm just actually using MAC Pro Longwear. It doesn't really work for me as a primer. My eyelids are too oily. But uh, since I was just going to be washing this look off after I filmed, I didn't want to use my actual primer. So now I'm just using my RCMA No Color Powder, setting that. Um, and I'm actually going in with my Hourglass uh, Mineral Veil Primer, like always. It's my favorite. Um, okay, so now I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill Palette. And I am going in with the shade M-F-E-O. I'm just buffing that into my crease like I would normally do that. Oh, I should say if you hear baby noises, that's because my son is with me. Uh, and now I am going into the shade Creamsicle. And I'm going to put that above my crease as well. Since we're doing a sunset look, I wanted to make sure I brought that up high as well as low, just so everything blended well together. So going back in, blending a little bit more. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame here. All right, so then I'm going in with Hunts. And I'm putting that right in the crease and obviously a little bit lower than the crease. Thankfully with this look you don't have to be too, too uh, exact because the blues will cover up any of that orange. But, yep. Because we want it to be a gradient from blue to kind of the orangey red to orange to yellow. Okay, and now I'm going in with the star of the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is Pool Party. Oh, and then I decided I actually wanted to go in with the blue and purple duochrome duo from the Coffee Date Coffee Coffee Break with Danny collaboration with Itzy. I believe it's braver, it could be wiser. I can't remember which one it is, but it's the blue one out of that quad. You totally don't need to do it. I just wanted to deepen it up and actually just use that shadow because I hadn't yet. You could totally use twerk from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Anyways, and then I went on the center of that with Pool Party. And then I just took my time and kind of brought those colors up a little bit more. Oh, and then I decided to go ahead and highlight with the color Sissy. I thought the pink would be really pretty and reminiscent of a uh, sunset as well. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and do eyeliner and be back. All right, my eyeliner's on. going in uh, with my Makeup Forever foundation. You guys know my feelings on this if you've seen any of my videos. Just trying to use this up. It's in my Project Pan 13 by Halloween. It's Makeup Forever. I like the foundation itself, but they don't have a good color for me. Even though they have such a huge range, they're not, they don't have any neutrals. It's all very pink or yellow. Excuse my husband there, the creeper in the background. He was doing laundry, so I didn't want to give him a hard time, you know. <laughs> All right, going in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Again, just using this up for my 13 by Halloween. Not a very good color match for me. It's too yellow. And then I'm also going in, I believe, with... Uh, it's the new NARS concealer that came out with the pot one. I got a sample of it at Sephora, and I really like it. All right, and then I am... What am I doing now? setting everything with powder. Alright, going back in with the Jaclyn Hill to finish my under eye. Going back in with Hunts. And I'm going to be bringing this all the way from inner corner to outer corner. I put poolside, I, uh, I didn't know it didn't record it. Um, I put poolside on the inner 
on my waterline, and then I'm going in with Hunts. Um, oh yeah, I went in with the dark color uh, Soda Pop, I believe, or Mocha. I can't remember exactly which one. So then I went in with Hunts. I re-highlighted with Sissy, and then I blended everything out with Creamsicle. So, yep. Alright, now I'm just contouring with my Wayne Goss brush. I'm just using the Make the Warm Light or Fair or whatever it is, uh, excuse my son's toys, um, from Makeup Geek. They're contour powders. It's the one I use. I like them, they're good. Pretty decent. All right, and then I'm going to be taking a big fluffy brush and my Chocolate Soleil bronzer and just bronzing up my face a bit. <clears throat> and neck. All right, and then I'm going in with the Tarte Parte blush or whatever. It's just the Sephora birthday gift that you get and going and buffing a little bit of that onto my cheeks. I really like this color. It's really pretty. And then I'm taking my fan brush and I believe I'm doing the, yeah, the Jaclyn Hill. I'm doing both of those, I believe. Uh, Prosecco and Champagne Pop. I did hit pan on Prosecco. I'm pretty proud of that, I must say. I must say. I only use that one in the summer. So anyways, highlighting cheekbones, lip, upper lip, nose, all that good stuff. Lining my lips now with, uh, I believe it was Aquarius, yeah, Aquarius by ColourPop. And then I was also, I was bringing it in on the inner corners of my mouth, um, coloring those parts in, and then going in with my Bare Minerals Lip Foundation in Nude. I also don't like this very much. I'm using this up in my 13 by 30. Uh, so I always combo it with something, somebody with another lip, a couple of other lip products because it's very uh, foundation-y on my, or concealer-y on my face. Anyway, so just putting a little bit of Too Faced uh, lip injection and spraying my face and calling that good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!